U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown says health care coverage is needed for 6,000 children in the Mahoning Valley. He spoke about the issue today at Akron Children's Hospital, Mahoning Valley. Our Greta Mitterreader was there and spoke with two local moms who say this issue is a big one for their family. Peyton, at seven weeks old, was life flighted. He had a um, laryngeal malacia and he went into respiratory distress. Four year old Peyton Miller's mother, Jessica, relies on the Children's Health Insurance Program, or CHIP, to help pay for his medical expenses. About 15000 just for the life flight, and then he also had an ambulance bill. It was about $800. She says CHIP allows Peyton to get the daily care he needs, including medicine and doctor's visits. Recently, he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. But federal funding for CHIP is set to expire in September. U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown recently introduced legislation to extend funding through 2019. Their support, at least for two years, we want to make sure it's for. Um, because I don't want these families to go through the anxiety of is this going to end in two years. More than 6,000 Valley children are enrolled in CHIP, including Erica Flaherty's son Chase. He was born with a stage 4 brain bleed, uh, chronic lung disease. Chase, who was born premature, sees a lung specialist to help control his asthma. When he was first born, he would come home and every two months he'd end up in the hospital and stay a week because of his, he'd end up having pneumonia. Brown hopes Congress passes his legislation within the next two weeks. Both Miller and Flaherty want to see the CHIP program continue. It's really reassuring and I'm thankful that we have it. Reporting for WKVN 27 First News, I'm Greta Mitterrater.